Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another wonderful and interesting episode of Campus Snake Africa. I'm still J-A-W-Z-Y-B, Jazzy B. And of course, you are wondering where I am today or which episode we're on today. I'm far away once again from South Africa. I'm right here in Kumasi. Kumasi is actually the capital city of Ashanti region, or some people say Ashanti Kingdom, here in Ghana. Ghana is in West Africa. Of course, also another name they call Kumasi is the Garden City. Not the Garden City of Kumasi, not the Garden City of Ghana, but the Garden City of West Africa because I'm told there are different species or there are a lot of species of beautiful flowers here, here, here in this particular city. Today we are not going to be talking about flowers, you might not even see any of it, but of course here is Kwamwe Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. But I want to tell you to come along with me on this journey. I am still yours, JWZYB, don't talk that down. KNUST, Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Don't talk that down. <laughs> yes, you are running. What's everybody saying? No. Hi, my name is Jazzy. What's your name? She's Essie. Ah, she's introducing her she's, today. She's Eva. She's Eva. Hi. Okay, so Essie and Eva. Now let's talk quickly. Oh, what's it about? Uh, it's about your school. KNST. Yes. Yeah. Who, who is doing the interview? The interview? Yeah. So it's it's actually for a um, student show right there on TV. Oh, okay. You're yeah, going to watch it on TV. Yeah. So are you students of this school? With TV. Yes, first time. I, I, I've been answering your questions. We, you are interviewing me. We just talk to you because yeah, you don't really know, don't know what, what you're talking about. about. I will tell you one after the other. Hey! <laughs> I want to know before everything goes up. Yeah. What course are you reading? Agree business. Oh, you are not supposed to be talking like a lawyer. Oh no, we are not lawyers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are querying me. Okay, it's Campus Snake Africa. That's the name of the show. Campus what? Campus Snake Africa. Snake. Uh, we go to train campuses around the world and we have chosen to come to... Um, Tech. Yes. All the way from South Africa. So now you are at peace. Kind of. <laughs> but we have a class. So yes. We have you want me to work with you? <laughs> <laughs> We what course are you reading? Agri business. Oh yeah, you said so. Yeah. What level are you? Final, Final year. Ah, do you say off campus or on campus? Off campus. <laughs> on campus. You see? Off campus. Off She's campus. on campus. I'm off campus. How come you are friends? Off and on hey. campus. We're in the same class. Yes. But why did you choose to stay on campus? <laughs> Even good, good, good. Convenience. No. <laughs> you are staying off campus. It doesn't matter. Okay, why do you choose to stay I off sleep campus? with her, like I sleep in her room. So. Why do you choose to stay off campus? Why are you not on campus? Oh, no, I didn't get a room on campus. So, so you'd have loved to stay on campus? Yes. Okay, why would you have loved to stay on campus? On campus. You but get to know a lot of stuff. Mm. Yeah, it's safe on campus. Yeah. So why do you choose KNUST? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> why? KNUST. I really wanted to come here. That's why I came here. Why? It's the best. Because mm. of science and technology. Yeah. Mm. So what's your big dream when you're done from school? Big, big dream. dream. You can't have one big dream. Business. <laughs> a big time business woman. <laughs> I want to open an orphanage. Wow. Wow. Yeah. You see, she even said wow. <laughs> I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> she didn't know. She didn't tell your friend. You didn't so, know about it. <laughs> so you're going to be making Jessica. money. You're going to be making money to support our hey. Yeah, that's true. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes, yes. yes. So yeah. what's the experience like um, as a student of this campus? Well, <laughs> for me, I'm saying... is a nice place mm -hmm. to be. Yeah, yeah, and then my spiritual life has improved. Wow. Yeah. I can see that they are very religious here. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> it's true. Is it religious or spiritual? Spiritual. Both. Spiritual. No Both. Some are spiritual, some are religious. <laughs> yes, some. Yeah, some but are. most of them are spiritual. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What's social life like here on campus here at Kenya? Social life. Mm. Okay. I don't think we are we are being restricted. <laughs> mm. It's yeah, about you combining good. your academics with your social life. That's so you do whatever you want to do. Mm. But you should be focused. Mm. Yeah. Nice Hi, my name is Julia Osiprempe in the Department of Integrated Rural Arts and Industry here on KNUSD. This is Campus Snake Africa and I want you to keep on watching. Campus Snake Africa, keep watching. Campus Snake Africa, we love you. This campus, you realize that students and lecturers and workers of the university 
are more spiritual conscious, you know, about they are conscious about their spiritual life, making sure that they don't do things which at the end of their life will be caught up in hell. So there are so many spiritual organizations, churches, uh, fellowships on campus. Almost every day, almost every evening, even in our department, from our six o'clock going, almost every evening, you come and see students either rehearsing, you know, songs or having Bible studies here and there. So basically, I'll say the spiritual life of this campus is pretty much good. People are more Christian-like, you know, than you're into other areas. So uh, I think students in tech are people who are who have been known for long for uh, as people who really take um, Christianity very serious. I think ministry work on campus is very, is very, very active. And, and the spirituality of the school is, has really covered the school so much in so many things. Yeah, I think it's very true because if you get yourself involved with all these um, spiritual activities on campus, it will help athletes here a lot. The spiritual aspect, I think. Spiritual aspect? Very, very. I think the people around are very religious. People see our dining hall is almost every time busy, they are having Christian activities and stuff like that. Um, in the morning, by 6 o'clock, they come to wake us up to pray. Uh, and then sometimes they pray with us. They stand somewhere around here and then pray with us. So if you're in your room and you hear them, you just join, and then you do your quiet time, you pray and all. We have different student organizations which is affiliated to um, different kind of religious beliefs. And so people do involve themselves in the kind of belief they want to. Whether it being, you being a Christian or a Muslim or whatever, you will get a social group or anything to associate yourself with so that you can develop your spiritual life. Um, I, I wish it was the evening. I'll take you to certain places where so many prayers are going on right now and I think it's good. Mostly um, either studying the word of God, preaching it, yeah. or I like to watch movies but mostly I'm um, always sharing the word of God. Okay. Tell me about the SRC. What about the SRC? Okay, the SRC is Student Representative Council. Okay. And what we do is we are the chief mouthpiece of the student body. Um, our interest is to safeguard the interests of students, basically. Um, we also ensure welfare of students. Um, we have a representative that sits on the highest decision-making table, Executive Council of the University. Mm -hmm. So for every interest of the, of the student, be it security, be it welfare, mm -hmm. the SRC pushes for it to ensure mm -hmm. that um, the campus becomes a better place, becomes more conducive for study, mm -hmm. a conducive environment for social life mm -hmm. and stuff like that. That's how she does. So how have you been able to like um, marry um, um, your studies and occupying this office? Uh, how have you been able to marry that? Well, <laughs> I laugh because it, it hasn't been easy. It's, it's very tough. I mean, um, being a vice president takes almost all your time, but you you know that the purpose for which we are here was to gain academic excellence. So it hasn't been it hasn't been easy at all. But okay. I mean, God's grace carries us on. So yeah. Then bridging bridging the gap. How have you been able to bridge the gap between the SRC and the students? Okay. Um, when we assumed office, well, there's been a, a lot of apathy basically because uh, in recent times the students lost hope, sort of. In, in, in the student representative council right. saying saying that some of the things that um, we promise some of the things that are promised are not achieved and some of the pertinent issues are not dealt with they claim that we we are not the, the student representative council is not fighting enough for and them, is that for true? you can't you can't you can't you can't um, write it out fully write it off but the truth is that it's a steady progress I believe um, not necessarily in student activism in sitting at the table and negotiating in lobbying and that's what gets us there now not necessarily going on demonstrations and and uh, making a big fuss about your needs about sitting on the table lobbying negotiating and making sure there's a win-win situation for the student representative council and um, I can tell you our administration has has been I'm, I'm, not, I'm not supposed to blow my own trumpet but if you ask any other student I'm sure they'll, they'll, they'll give a good report about this okay, tell me one council. challenge that um, came up um, for the students and the SRC was able to really really manage well oh I mean a host of them I it, mean just yeah the, probably the, 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 the most challenging one okay um, what was it exactly you see I've been a first hand um, experience or a witness to um, what it is to not have 
somebody catering for your education, uh, being an academic prospect and being, being bedeviled by financial challenges. So the SRC introduced a kitwe bien soa, that's in tree, means that no amount is little. Um, a fund that, that seek to, uh, is a social basket where students who are needy apply mm. and then we take funds from students and then we sort out the school fees and then feeding, mm. uh, feeding fees of some of the students. Mm. Um, this social basket has, has, has increased to about 1,000 capacity and we are still increasing the number and it's, it's such a joy to, to And how have you been able to accomplish that? Yeah, I mean we, we, sat, we sat with the, with the university, we discussed it. Now um, we have a thousand students that are, that are on that are on the social basket okay. that are benefiting from it, okay. and it's such a joy um, seeing that the dreams of students can be can be met because they have an opportunity and they have the means to achieve it, and it's, it's, it's such a joy for for us as student leaders because leadership is about service, mm -hmm. and if you come and it's only about yourself, mm -hmm. then then you are not you are not indeed doing what you came into office to do. So, so for you personally, what has been your fulfillment holding this office? Oh yeah, okay. Very simple. Um, uh, my president always says, and I share the same same um, ideas with him. That at the end of my office, um, if all I have is my conscience, then as my best friend, then I am fully fulfilled. It's not about getting um, financially sound because out of taking money out of coffers. It's not about um, making sure that there's a smile on somebody's face. Those, all those things are equally important. But the fulfillment is that. As an individual, my conscience will serve me right. And that's my greatest fulfillment being in office now because for everything that I have done, I made sure that my conscience, my conscience led me. And as it stands now, I can say it's my best friend. I wouldn't hesitate on I wouldn't hesitate to step on any tool to ensure accountability and ensure um, transparency. And that's what I've, I've stood for all this while. We are standing in front of the Kumasi Center for Collaborative Research in Tropical Medicine here inside Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. What's KCCR? Where KCCR is? What about KCCR? We get to know in a minute. KCCR stands for Kumasi Center for Collabor Collaborative Research in Tropical Medicine. And KCCR is a joint venture between the Ministry of Health and the uh, KNUST and the Bernhard Nocht Institute in Germany. So KCCR is a platform for, tropic for researching in tropical medicine, biomedical and we also do clinical trials here. One of the, the biggest research is the so-called MAL055. It's a clinical trial on vaccine um, against malaria. It's one of the biggest trials, wow. which we're doing in, in cooperation with uh, GlaxoSmith. Wow. This institute was founded in 96 and uh, was um, since then developing. It's growing fast, very fast now, and we have so far 30 projects in, uh, in 2013 here, which we administer here financially and um, with stuff. Welcome to our parasitology lab. Mm -hmm. um, parasitology means um, studying parasite. And so um, uh, organism that parasite in humans, um, that we study here and at the also cause diseases. Mm -hmm. Just not only uh, this in parasites on this and they cause diseases in humans. Mm -hmm. For instance, an example is a uh, malaria. We are studying about uh, we, we, uh, some films about uh, malaria. In this case, we found uh, an infection by malaria falciparum, is uh, the most common species of malaria in, uh, in this part of Africa, in West Africa. But we found something else also about other species. Uh, I, I work with um, TB. We are trying to understand um, things in the body that prevent our immune system from fighting the bacteria when it attacks people. Okay. So you can have five people living in the same house. Mm -hmm. One person gets TB and all the others do not. Mm -hmm. So what, why is it that we mount up the same immune response, mm -hmm. somebody gets to fight the disease, another person does not. Mm -hmm. Ideally, in the layman's terms, you'll assume that, well, somebody's immune response is stronger than the other. Mm -hmm. 
but um, that is not enough. Mm -hmm. I mean, among two people with very strong immune system, one can still get it and the other does not. Mm -hmm. And we suspect that there are things in the body that regulate the immune response. Mm -hmm. So though your body is actually fighting, your, um, the bacteria is also dodging. Mm -hmm. And that is what we are trying to investigate. So normally, we take cells from TB patients mm -hmm. and we reenact the things that happen in the body when the TB enters the body to see what happens outside the human body. Mm -hmm. We are just trying to understand it. So which of the cytokines are being released to fight the infection mm -hmm. and what happens when the patients start taking medication mm -hmm. are things that we monitor. I'm working on uh, samples from suspected TB patients. Um, you know, TB is normally a disease that affects the lungs, but it can spread to other areas of the body. So what the, the samples I've just received, um, they, they are from the abdomen, abdominal fluid, because they suspect that the, the bacteria, the microbacterium tuberculosis can, you know, uh, escape the lungs and move to other parts of the body and cause tuberculosis. Um, we are doing bacteria culture mm -hmm. uh, from samples we collected from the hospital mm -hmm. to detect the presence of bacteria pathogens uh, in the samples. Mm -hmm. and we also go ahead to inform the doctors that there is a presence or absence of uh, pathogens in the blood and we do antibiotic sensitivity profile for the organisms to see which drugs will be capable of uh, getting rid of the organism in the system of the patients. Mm -hmm. So we report all this to the doctors. I'm doing the antimicrobial sensitivity testing. As he spoke about, okay. if we want to know whether the drug will be sensitive or resistant, we need to do a lab test to okay. find out the sensitivity or the resistivity of the drug in the patient. Okay. So we do a laboratory test. So I use a ruler to measure the diameter. So I measure the zone size of inhibition, which is from here okay. to here. Okay. So this one, I read 36. Okay. and the drug is penicillin. So we combine it with a standard chart okay. and we see whether it's resistant, intermediate or sensitive. Okay. okay, good morning, good morning, good morning once again. Of course, it's morning here right now at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. And you know when I'm seated like this on the episode, that means I'm somewhere important or somewhere special. I'm not a sitting type of person, but there are some things that make me sick. So right now, I'm seated and I'm actually sitting in the office of the Dean of Students and of course, I can, I can tell you, even you will know that out of all the Dean of Students I've met ever since we started this show, this Dean is different. This Dean has so much energy, he calls himself the Senior Housemaster. Well, I don't want to introduce him, I want him to introduce himself. Uh, my name is uh, Kofi Owusu Deku. I am an Ashanti therefore Kofi just means that I was born on Friday. <laughs> also, that is my surname. I'm 56. I like to talk about my age. Mm -hmm. And I've been working in this university for 32 years. Wow. This office is the office of the Dean of Students. It's probably the most unstructured office in the whole university. <laughs> uh, the brief goes like this. You are responsible for the psychosocial welfare of the students. Yes. So, any social problems pass through here, any disciplinary problems pass through here. But of course, the person is on an island, so if he's having academic problems also, he may want to come through here. So probably next the vice chancellor, perhaps my phone is the hottest line on campus. <laughs> wow, so sir, you, you, you just mentioned that you held this office for 32 years. No. I've been in this I've worked in this university for 32 years. Nobody will last that long in this office. I have <laughs> I have done it for the past three years. Yeah. I'm entering my fourth year. Well, you've been in this um, school for 32 years. 32 years, years yes. Yes. Yeah. I am I, um, I teach I'm a biologist by profession. Um, I teach in several disciplines in biology, genetics, human anatomy and physiology, embryology. All sorts of things. I'm a teacher. I love the job. I am Kentra King, a biological science student here at KNUST, and you're watching Campus Sneak Africa. Hey, this is the one and only Corbin J. I'm a mass communications major from Savannah State University in Savannah, Georgia in the US baby yes 
you are watching campus sneak africa ah! But sir, what's actually the designation of the dean of students? What's, uh, what are your assignments are you supposed to be like? Like I said, the, in a nutshell, you are supposed to be the local parenti. Um, so you represent all parents. So if there's any, uh, and I have to just say that this office uh, also has a counseling unit where we have professionally trained clinical psychologists, psychosocial counselors, academic counselors, family counselors. So it's a place that you can just walk in, you know, so that part is there. Um, when I took up this office, I kind of redefined um, uh, my office to the students. That I'm not, I don't probably have the competency to be uh, the the lap that uh, every student can jump on and cry. Because sometimes if you are not a trained counselor, your counseling makes the person worse than better. Mm. So I try to know my limitations and I will come in, but I'll let the lead people show the way regarding counseling. I tend to tell them that. You see, when I, when I came to this university many years ago and I said in 78 I was here, uh, I came much earlier, but 78 I was just about I did my study here. The maximum number of students in this university were less than 3,000. Um, everybody was resident. These days we are get, we are getting on to 40,000 if you if you add our long distance people. On campus we are at least 30,000, and therefore the center has to be strong. The center has to be consistent. The center has to show a lead. And I tell my students, I'm an old-fashioned, no-nonsense Presbyterian. It does not mean that I'm a terrorist that you can't approach, but it also means that I don't suffer fools gladly. I won't allow any student to feel better than any other student. I won't, I will not hold on to uh, students who want to blackmail other students, extort money from them. And in my language, they say that as a town expands, the gossip and the vices also expand. And for this time, in this stage of my life, I think I'm just fulfilling that role to make sure that the center stays focused and strong. I am not in doubt, the students are not in doubt as to who has the last shot. Hi, my name is Abwaji Joel, a student of the Mechanical Engineering Department, Campus KNUSD. This is Campus Snake Africa. Keep watching. I'm a student of KNUSD and you're watching Campus Snake Africa. Keep watching. My name is Amy. I'm Eva. And you're watching Campus Snake Africa. Yeah, KNUSD campus. And I think Campus Snake Africa is the best social network. <laughs> So, sir, um, what would you say student life is actually like on this campus for the resident students yes. and the non-residents, I mean those that are staying off campus? Yes. What, what do you think student life is for them? They, they, they face different challenges. Um, um, structurally, this student, uh, these, let me give you an example. Let me just sidestep it a little bit. For the past many years that I've been here, um, it might interest you to know that under a different vice chancellor, I was then a hall master of a, a traditional hall. And we began to, that was when these non-residential issues were popping up. We we're admitting far many more people than the residences on campus would allow. Um, then the residences, uh, the traditional halls, before all the hostels came up, took a maximum of about 5,000. Now it's been expanded to about 9,000 maximum. And as the numbers went up, it became a, a situation where more students are out than in. So we need to rationalize that. So I wrote a paper, co-wrote a paper of my wife who was also a whole warden, and, and to say that the most vulnerable students are the first years, the freshmen who know next to Adam, and they are most vulnerable. 
um, and therefore they must be housed first. And if there's any extra space, you give it to continuing students. It's a policy that we wrote over 10 years ago and still holding. Um, so you are given a chance to come in first year, find time to find your bearings, stay on campus, and subsequent years you go out. But because we still are traditionally minded, over the last 10 years, the, the, the university's thinking, psyche hasn't changed much, even by, with the students. So if a non-residential student wants to stand for office, he does not win, even though 70% of the students are out. They will still for, vote for somebody who is in residence. They still want to organize things around their halls. Um, you know, so it is Queen's Hall, Queen Elizabeth Hall, it's Independence Hall, it's Republic Hall. Yet the, the majority of the people stay on campus, uh, stay outside campus. The hostels have been oversubscribed. So some hostels are there say that they are next to pig styles and because take it or leave it. Uh, we have, since I took office, been inspecting the hostels. And we, we give it, depending on the criteria, we see that these hostels are recognized, the others are not recognized. Um, uh, they have been sitting ducks. Students probably have the greatest concentration of smartphones per head and, <laughs> and computers. So they become sitting ducks for some of these petty criminals. Um, one tragic case, not tragic, but one peculiar experience that they had raided the hostel, this gang had raided the hostel dead in the night around uh, 2 o'clock. And one gentleman had an not so old Toshiba. He had just been given a new iPad. And the thief could say, when he offered his Toshiba and his uh, 3310, he says, I know you have, you have a Samsung S3. I also know that the green box under your bed, you have an uh, iPad inside there. There must be some clairvoyance to be able to know that sometimes, tragically speaking, some of the students have become informers for some of these thieves. So uh, they probably are more vulnerable to these uh, petty robberies than those who live on campus. But uh, luxury-wise, some of the hostels perhaps match the best in the world. Satellite TV, even some of the hostels have swimming pools two in a room, kitchenette, you know, that kind of thing. The traditional halls don't have those. Why do you choose to stay off campus? Because I've stayed on campus before and I don't want to stay there anymore. I just want to be off campus. So what's the experience like staying off campus for you being a student of the university? It's better because at least I'm on my own. I don't have to be around students have a way of life that's the truth and i don't want that experience anymore i've had that as an undergrad but now so you stay on campus yeah I'm tell on. me what life is like for you staying on campus staying on campus is, is, is a little bit i would say better than being outside the hostels right because as i was i stated earlier talking about this security issues and the threats arising now mm. you find it difficult gulling from your hostels into the environment is steady right i'm on campus who cares at least i can do a little bit of reading in unity hall mm. if things go wrong i'll just walk to business school if it's business school, i don't want to come but mm. coming here at least i feel secure because securities are patrolling mm. but you can come into campus and study but getting back is an issue mm. right so staying off campus honestly i wouldn't advise mm. any other person but situation makes it so um, yeah you get to um, experience more of a student's life when you're on campus you know, you, uh, you go through things that's when you go through. I think uh, you're able to see more of your friends and you enjoy life quite better when you're on campus. I'm a bit more relaxing as compared to having to take a church or a taxi all the way from an off campus residence. Yeah. Off campus. Off campus. Why do you choose to stay off campus? No, in first year you stay in the halls, but in second year, if you don't get a place in the hall, you just have to move off campus. I'm um, in Kumasi here in Ghana and of course right now I'm standing in front of I guess they said not I guess they said is the most popular all here in Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology it's not just like a normal day here it's actually the whole week and tonight there's going to be a major 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 event here this evening marking this whole week I am told 
that this hall is the most popular hall here even in Ghana and this event is about the biggest student event that they have in all universities here because it's going to involve so many other students coming from different universities and I'm still jailed upset why right now we're going to be actually speaking to some students asking them why this hall Republic Hall is so popular why this hall Republic Hall is known for their events and so whatever I am not a student but I want to know I am eager to know and I think right now we should start bumping the student like we do you know what I'm talking about so here let's go which hostel do you stay in? G Town. Is it on campus? No, it's away. From okay, away from campus. But I'm told this Republic Hall is about the happening, most happening hall here at campus. Is it true? Yeah. It's true? Yeah. So what's happening? Why are all the balls? What's the balls? What's happening here today? What are they planning for? Tell me about it. Republic Hall, I was here before I moved. Oh, you were here? Yeah. Uh, yes, and so tell us, tell me your experience. Yeah, what happens is Republic Hall is, is their hall when we are celebrating hall week mm. is really 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 big mm. in that it's the center when you consider all the halls mm. this is the center of attraction mm. so most people come from outside mm. in within to come here mm. because it's the biggest thing on campus wow and even away from campus you're still of this school no okay so what are you doing here i have a stand here a game stand okay why do you have a stand here what what do you do at your stand Oh, uh, we play video games okay. and we make bread sandwich and okay. some. So why do you choose this hall? Uh, so far, they have the biggest and the craziest hall week. So what's your name? Yeah, Frances. Frances, are you are you resident in this hall? No. So are you just passing by too? Yeah, I came to a friend. Okay, you are not a student of this campus. I am. Which where do you stay? In this. Is there a, is there a particular hall on this campus or outside? Yeah, it's on this campus. So. Is it true? Thank God you are an outsider. You didn't say this. They said this hall uh -huh. is the most happening hall on campus. True or false? At least you are not a student of this. Of, you are not resident in this hall. Oh, mm. true. True. Yeah. So no, no, no controversy. No. So why are you not a resident here? I didn't get it. I chose, but I didn't get it. Oh, you chose it, but you didn't get it. No. So what's the plan? What's why all the buzz? What's happening here? It's the whole week. It's the whole week. Yeah. Uh, so it's painful that you went, you you wanted <laughs> it, but you never got it. No. Hey, my name is Jazzy. Thanks, man. My name is KB. Officially known as KB over here. Quatin Bernard is my official name. Mm. Obviously, you can see that it's <laughs> actually happening and it's hippie. Tell me about this all. Who are you? Number yeah, one. Yeah, I'm the JCRC president over here. Mm. The junior common room president. Mm. I represent the student body over here. Mm. Whatever student activity they do here, I'm solely responsible and I'm in charge of everything over here. So tell me about Republic Hall. Yeah, Republic Hall was officially built in 1956. Mm. It is it was built officially to commemorate Ghana's Republican status mm. and it was named after Dr. Osage Fukuhama Kuma popular party. Okay. So the cock over here represents the logo of his party. Okay. The hall has two members, that is the junior common room and the senior common room. The senior common room represents the senior staffs and the senior lecturers over here. And the junior common room also represents the student body over here. So that is a demarcation of it. But geographically, that is why the, the hall is situated in the middle of the university. So geographically, all the activities that we do here has competitive advantage than all other halls. That is why the hall is so popular. The hall is noted for entertainment staff. When it comes to education and other educative activity, we stand out to be the best. I'm, I'm also told that um, the event you're having presently, which is the Hall Week of the Republic Hall, um, you Republicans, they say this is the biggest event here on campus. Is it true? Yeah, yeah, that is the fact. It's the stated fact. It's not the biggest event on campus here, but it's the biggest event on all tertiary institutions. This program in Ghana. In Ghana, in Ghana, or mm. probably extend to Africa. Oh, okay, okay, go on. <laughs> this program is mainly not done for the members in the hall, but it's done for other people to come and participate. If you turn your eyes around and you can see that the members in the whole university are tripping in, in here okay. to have a fill of the activities over here. Oh, so you that mean is students are coming from different students universities. Students are coming from different universities. Students are coming from different institutions, not universities alone, but other tertiary institutions to participate in the celebration of our whole week so that gives us a hype all over Ghana all over the Shari institutions over here and what makes this all 
so unique and different from every other hall on <laughs> campus. As you can see, as I have already stated, the hall is being surrounded by all the other traditional halls. This is traditional hall. <laughs> so we are in the middle of the hall. The middle we of the school. The, the middle, the middle of, the of the school. Campus. The middle of the, all the halls over here. Mm. So strategically, location gives us a priority than any other hall. Mm. And the hall is situated here, whereby whatever you want to do in this university, you have to pass through this hall. And the most important thing about the hall used to be a former administrative seat for the university. When the initial the university was built, this is the vice chancellor, the vice chancellor chamber, and this is the vice chancellor. When you entered there, that was the vice chancellor's office. So the hall is noted for its historical symbolic symbolism. So the hall also has a serene environment. You had a serene environment in which you can come around and relax and enjoy yourself or any other thing. And above all, the wonderful people out there. We are not selective. We are not. We are not practicing racist. We are not also whatever we do here. We try to involve people, we co-create people, we are always welcome for people activities. That is why Hall Week stands tall among all the other halls over here. Uh, yeah, I'm standing in front of the Republic Hall, which happens to be the most eventful hall, as I'm being told, and of course the most happening hall. That's I'm being told. We're going to prove that together, but come along and let's go. Let's sneak in and see what's happening. Whatever you see here is a sign of supporting true student entrepreneurship. These are students who are actually trying to be creative by bringing out their products that they want to sell. So we give them opportunity for them also to come around and sell their products and make a little profit. So tell me, tell me what inspired you? Oh, we realized that we made nice drinks and we thought we could commercialize it. Yes, so that's why. What has your experience been like? Oh, it's been great. It's been great. We're working hard and we hope to make a lot out of this. So do you stay in this hall? No, no, we are off campus. We are, off campus. We are in our final year. Final year. Tell me, are you happy with what you are doing? I'm very happy with what I'm doing. So when you are done from school, there's possibility that you open your own big factory. No, we are hoping to do so. This show that our investment level we are here, we don't even spend much, but we, are, we always try to invest into our activities that will actually help us in future. So this is what the whole week is about. It's not purely about, it's not purely about only entertainment, but it's about student entrepreneurship. It's all about student investment and whatever student has to exhibit. Aside the inter entertainment aspect, students also contribute to the knowledge they've learned over here, and that's all. Hi, I'm Elena Stova. I am a political studies major from America, and this is Campus Sneak Africa. Hey everyone, you're watching Campus Snake Africa, and my name is Emmanuel Golden. I'm from. Hey everyone, my name is Emmanuel Golden. I'm from Savannah State University, USA, majoring in political science, and you keep watching Campus Snake Africa. Hi, my name is Jazzy. Edna. Edna. Yeah. Edna, you did all this stuff here. Yeah, we made all this stuff here. You finished from this school? Yeah, I finished from this school. And this is what you've been doing since? Yes. What inspired you to do all this or to come into doing all this? Um, really, I, I can't really pinpoint, but I think I'm inspired by the fact that the African prints are quite trendy and then people love it. So we uh, what what it. gives you fulfillment doing all this stuff? Fulfillment? Yeah, joy. Joy. Um, I think I love it when people wear these things. When I see okay. them, I really... Okay. So what do you have to say about the Republic Hall Week? Okay, it's a great Hall Week and we love it, people love it and so far it's been good. Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. I'm Mame, just call me Mame. Mame? Yes. Are you a student of this school? No. What are you doing here? Uh, I came for the report hall weekend, a couple of parties. 
Wow, so which school are you from? I'm from the University of Ghana. You see, that's a student from University of Ghana who has come to experience the... Now, tell me, what about this whole week? Yeah, this whole week has a lot of fuss about it. So, I'm actually my third year, and this is my third time being here. I don't miss your poor whole week at all. Wow, so tell me about the whole week. Tell me the things you, that happen here. Uh, tell me what you love about the whole week. Because I'm told it's the biggest. Yeah, it's actually the biggest. And, um... One thing I like about the whole weekend, a lot of people come around, they could get um, anything you actually want and a place with the new African print trend and stuff. It's cool, everything looks amazing around so you can just get what you want and probably, mostly it's quite affordable so if I can buy, why not? So what's life like on the University of Ghana? It's actually fun, it's, I think it's fun than tech. <laughs> it's actually fun. Until we come there. Yeah, you would experience it yourself, trust me. This is Fourth Republic. Sorry? It's a Fourth Republic. Okay. It's a lifestyle and clothing brand. Okay. Yeah, so basically apparel like the capital. First and foremost, are you guys students of this school? Yes. Yeah. yeah. You are students of this school? Yeah. And you are doing so much of this. Yeah. What's the inspiration behind this? Well, we decided that, okay, there's, it's very difficult to place the inspiration, but more or less, it's based on how we are all the children of the Fourth Republic of Ghana, and we aspire to should I say better the world? So this draws on our inspiration. We are selling bracelets, shoes, anything you could think of. So okay, yeah. Okay, and what's that? We have them on display. You can see okay, them. Yeah, on display. Okay, tell me yeah. about this now. Okay. You guys made this. Yeah. We, we designed it. We designed it more like that. So this is what we need to start wearing, right? Yeah. Definitely. It's for it's for something people. different. Something. Now, tell me about it. Okay, let's take a look at the shoe. It's something different on the norms. You see your black, you see your canvas. We want to give it something, you know, unique. Quite, you know, Af yeah, a little bit African, but urban in the same way. Like, you can put this on with some black shoes and white top, you know, with some gray pants. And then you know that it will fit in. You're not standing out. You're not fit. You're not trying to, you know, fit in. You're just being you. That's it. Normal African shoes we have around. These are Fourth Republic style. I'm told that this particular um, hall week is the biggest. Yeah, it's Tell true. me about it. It is. It's the biggest. Out of all the halls, this is the most anticipated in the whole of Ghana. People come from all the different universities just for this mm -hmm. event. It's a three on three basketball competition. It's played annually here in Republic, here in Republic or, and the competition is all about uplifting the basketball in Ghana. And we have great players. That's what is one of the tournaments that big players do come. Friday we have a form of socializing and that is where we guys come together and um, sing our songs as um, a way of um, releasing stress um, because the whole week we've been in class, we've been in the laboratories and uh, others have been in their workshops so as a way of releasing stress we sing songs so as to release stress. My name is Augustine Anno, a final year student in Integrated Rural Art and Industry. Okay. Yeah. So, like, tell me about Unity Hall. Obviously, this is Unity Hall celebration, yeah. and I'm told that this is like what you do like every other week. Yeah. And I'm told that it's not like you are cursing or you are fighting, but it's just inspirational. Yeah. Tell me about Unity Hall first, then tell me about the group. Yeah. First of all, I'm a very powerful Continental and a very proud one. Who is a Continental? A Continental is someone who is affiliated to Unity Hall here in here in KNUST Ghana. People at Republic Hall said they are the best. What do you have to say about that? Oh my God, you can see it for yourself. There is no any other hall apart from Unity Hall, Continental, Conti. I mean, being a Continental, I don't know, the feeling is, I don't know, it, it's hard, it, there's, there's no word for me to explain. I don't know, whenever it comes, you know, someone asks me, how does it feel like being a Continental? I mean, uh, uh, there's no word to explain.
voice. He's been singing all day. So yeah. he's a your name is what? This a disciple. Disciple. This is the biggest one in the whole Ken UST, in the whole of West Africa for that matter. And you know, tomorrow we'll be going to support the Ghana Black Stars. And so we're just charging up for today. We charged up yesterday. We're charging up for today as well. So it's just a spirit. I'm an alumni. I finished last year. Wow. But as I came, I just saw the spirit and I decided to join. Wow. It's just in the blood, you know. Wow. Yeah. Now, you, you stayed here when you were here? Yeah, when I was here. Tell me about this hall. This hall is, is so, so full of different people, different people with different talents. Everybody has got a different talent, different style. But the unity is what matters. Everybody's everybody's keeper. Wow. You understand? Yeah. Everybody protects everybody. Yeah. Everybody has the concern of another guy in mind. So the unity is, is massive. And that's why we had that name. Unity then I was actually at the Republic Hall and I was told that um, Republic, they, they, they said they are the best. What do you have to say to that? Well, Republic can claim they are the best because they have ladies. <laughs> you, know, you know, but no, they cannot come near to Unity Wall. Unity Wall is ranked among the best walls in the world. <laughs> Um, I think NST is a very good school and um, as in when you finish school you know that oh maybe these things that we did in school really helped a lot yeah and then you apply it to your life. But it's not easy, it's very difficult for me because in my country you don't you don't speak English. Okay. But uh, everything is alright, it's cool. The school the teachers teach very well and everything about this school is very cool and they have good facilities too. And good courses. It's not too easy because sometimes there's, um, should I say, bureaucracy or democracy, whatever it is. It's also there, but then it's also good because Ghanaians are friendly people. Others, everything else is, is good. Very fine. Very very fine. The lecturers are on point. The TAs uh, teach well, and uh, everything is fine. It's been hectic, fun, adventurous, everything. <laughs> Tiring but interesting. Tiring but interesting. Mm -hmm. um, it's interesting being in a class where boys are majority. <laughs> <laughs> and doing, doing a course that is considered to be like a guy's course. It's nice, but it's nice also to feel that a girl is able to stand up to guys. Mm. It's been okay. You know, school has its bad sides and the good side. Lectures and all. You go to a lot, basically it's been okay. My name is Professor William Otuelis, the Vice Chancellor of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Kumasi, Ghana. You are watching Campus Snake Africa. This is a very educative program that exposes institutions within Africa and across the globe. I want to encourage you to continue to watch this program because I believe that it is very informative and one of the best that you can ever have.